So let's talk about Bernie Sanders. And I think as a backstory, and my own critique of Sanders, is that he has long been a member of the Democratic establishment. He campaigned for Bill Clinton in 1992, again in 1996, after Clinton passed things like NAFTA, assault on the prison, you know, exploding the prison population, tax on welfare. He campaigned for the Democrats in 2004. Indeed, in 2004, announced that you should not be running for president as a third party candidate. Now, uh, this was uh, the support of uh, John Kerry, who was out bushing Bush on Iraq. He wouldn't have withdrawn from Fallujah. Uh, Bernie has supported in his voting record, despite his rhetoric, almost all military appropriations bills, uh, funding for the NSA, funding for the CIA. Uh, there is not a pro-Israel resolution uh, coughed up by the uh, Israel lobby and AIPAC he hasn't supported. Uh, I don't see how, given the fact that we are being disemboweled by the war industry, Seymour Melman was onto this a long time ago, uh, we can't talk about creating uh, an egalitarian, a socialist society if we don't confront the war machine, and he won't confront it. I would like to know how you view his candidacy and what this will mean, especially given his long complicity with the Democrats, and he's been the main force behind building a third party candidacy in, in Vermont. He never has supported, and there's powerful or strong grassroots movements that would like to build a third party in, in Vermont. Um, what this means for progressive, what, what this means for us, what it means for you know, those of us who would like to confront corporate power. Well, Bernie Sanders has been around a long time. He can see beyond the next hill or around the next corner. And I think I know what his game plan is. Basically, he wants to arouse public opinion in a progressive manner domestically. He's got real problems with uh, military and foreign policy uh, positions that he has not taken progressively. Uh, but he wants to build progressive public opinion so that it pulls the Democratic Party a little bit. But he doesn't want to do this in any way that can take a vote away from the nominee, if you, if you say Hillary Clinton. So he's, he's lost his bargaining power electorally when he said he'll, he'll, uh, he'll endorse the Democratic nominee uh, five months ago without saying it depends who it is. He would have had some bargaining power. So he's, he's finished in terms of any electoral dynamics uh, when the primary season is over. Do you, do you have over. a theory as to why? Yeah, uh, but, but his job now, as he sees it, is to mobilize and focus and elevate the but, but enthusiasm it, <laughs> of progressive-minded people. But here's where the contradiction is. If you don't go into the electoral arena to win, and you've got to go after the, the, the leader in, in, in the polls, Hillary Clinton, you don't have to do it nastily, but you can, she's very vulnerable. A militarist, a Wall Street, a corporatist, the worst on her record. And she said, uh, annihilate the Iranian people, right. the Iranian, uh, uh, if they have a nuclear weapon. I mean, annihilate an entire people, 75 million people. And she said in her uh, last answer to her question on the first debate uh, recently, uh, when they said, what are the enemies you're most proud of? And she put the Iranians. Right. Uh, imagine if she had said, uh, you know, the Israelis or it's just amazing how she can get away with stuff like that. Here's the contradiction, Chris. If he doesn't go electorally in a serious way to win, then he's setting up millions of Americans yes. and young Americans for a huge morale collapse. I know. When in April or May, he appears on the stage with Hillary Clinton, if she's the nominee and the winner of the primaries, and he endorses her. And then he is folded into the whole Clinton war Wall Street machine. Right. He goes back to the Senate as a hero. He has a little more influence in the Senate. Maybe he'll get two senators to sign on to his single payer bill. He couldn't get one other senator to sign on to his he single payer bill. He voted for Obamacare, bill. though. Yeah. Uh, and he has a huge mailing list. Uh, and uh, he continues his merry way. So he, he's got to be called to account here. Look, Bernie, you've got to go all the way. You've got to take it to November. Uh, and he says, no, I'm not going to take it to November. I'm not going to be responsible uh, for the defeat of the Democratic well, Party. He's part of the Democrat. He sits in the caucus. Yeah. He has seniority. The Democrats, in a quid pro quo, do not mount serious candidates against him yeah. in Vermont. And in return, he doesn't support 
third party candidacies, including your own. And here's, here's the nub. The Democratic establishment and their political operatives are amused by Bernie Sanders mm -hmm. day after day. They're not f f fearful of him. They're amused. Why are they amused? Because he's given up his bargaining power and says he's going to nominate, but, he's going to support the Democratic nominee. He's not going to go independent. He's not going to support a third party. So they're amused because he's going to get more votes out but for is, Hillary is, Clinton. Isn't he just giving Hillary Clinton her talking points week by week? I think you pointed out. Yes. What Hillary Clinton now is doing is to camouflage her corporatist and military crimes and deed, misdeeds. She basically is uh, learning how to mimic uh, Bernie Sanders with his language. So she is now for a minimum wage increase. Well, we couldn't get her to come out for a minimum wage increase sponsored by the Democrats, $10.10 an hour, until May of last year. And, and we had to get women's groups and children's protection groups to again and again appeal to her. Well, she opposes the TPP, sort of. Yeah. You know, after largely being one of the engines behind its creation. Behind NAFTA, behind the yeah. World Trade Organization. She supported the deregulation of Wall Street by her husband, Bill Clinton, uh, never challenged the corruption and the greed that led to the collapse on, on the economy. No, this is, this is a, a tragic period in American history. What is